Hello everyone, in today's video we will be installing a single pole switch for bedroom lights. Um, also we have four wires, in this case we have a switch leg for the power lights in the ceiling, we have a power line for the fan, we have our power coming in, and power coming out is for the closet lights which are also individually switched. We will proceed by stripping the Romex insulation out of our conductors with our hook knife. Put this out of the way so you can see better. And then we'll strip the next wire. Having multiple conductors in a box can be daunting to look at, but Hopefully in this video you will learn a few tricks to deal with this situation. Okay, I have a Romex stripped right now. We will take one of the ground wires and connect it at the back of the box. As I said before, if you nick the Romex insulation towards the back with your side cutters, you will be able just to pull it out simply. We have a uh, our Milwaukee four in one driver. We got Robertson number two. We will wrap the ground wire clockwise in the ground disc screw on the back of the box. And carefully we will tie that ground wire. Now we can proceed to connect all our other powers together and their grounds. Since those don't need to be switched. Again, carefully, just nick the rest of the Romex and uh, you can just pull it and it will come undone. Looks like we didn't strip this one the whole way. Just fix that. Same thing. Carefully make the Romex the back of the box. And just pulls up. We'll identify the switch leg by just curling it up like this, so we know that that's the switch leg for the lights. Then we can twist all the ground wires together, and use a wire nut or moret to have them connected. With our pliers, we'll twist them all together, and now we can cut them. Use a wire nut to keep them all connected. And here is where the task starts to become daunting for some. We have to find a way to place all these wires towards the back of the box and still leaving enough room for our switch. So what I like to do is push um, the wire and make it into an L shape towards the corner of the box then folding it like so and then pushing until stuck away because we have more wires that we have to connect 
Next, we'll grab all the neutral wires. We'll strip them and do the same. Right here, we have all the neutral wires. We'll do our usual trick of making a fist with an extended thumb so we can have plenty of wire in case we need to do some uh, repairs afterwards. It's also very easy once that you have to replace the switch to pull the wires out of the box and they will come all the way out and give you plenty of room to work. It's nothing more annoying than having to work with short wires. We'll line up all our neutrals and uh, use our pliers. Twist them all. Then we can use one of the wire nuts or marats and twist very snugged. Make sure there's a good connection. And now we will do the same that we did with our ground wires, where we will fold into an L shape and just spring it towards the back of the box. Leaving room for one more group of wires, which it will be our power wires and our switch leg. Let's organize them. So right here we got all our power wires. Do the same that we did with the neutral. Fist and thumb. And we will strip this. Then we will grab a tail. We'll add it in here, because uh, you cannot put these three wires um, on the ground screw for our switch. There's not enough room. And then we will twist all these guys together. And that will leave us one wire for our switch. Then we'll use another wire knot or a moret. Twist until it's very snug. Now we did the same process that we have been doing with all our other wires. Make sure you have enough room for a switch. Then same process all across the board, we'll proceed to strip our conductors, make our connection loops, and we'll install a Lutron single pole switch, white collar. Very clean. Right here, connect our loop to the bottom screw. You can use a screwdriver in this case to tie those screws. I find that sometimes Phillips screwdrivers um, are the best option when it comes to specific brands like Lutron. Then the switch leg loops go to the top. And we have a clean connection Time to put the switch. I like doing my spring loops, making sure that sits in there. We will use uh, our Milwaukee driver with a Phillips bit. And as usual, we'll line it up 
Also, I want to clarify that this whole process is being done by not having power in the box. There's no uh, electricity. There's no electricity in this switch. This box always works safe. And we line up the switch and slowly tie up the box. Grab our level so we can make it straight. That looks good. The box doesn't look very straight. It happens sometimes when they're on uh, 1060 bars and there's a little bit of a rough, rough and tumble play from the drywall installation. Now we will install the screwless plate. Most of uh, the jobs that I work in, they don't use uh, regular plates. Just as we have done before many times, we place a screwless plate, grab a Phillips, and slowly tie it in until it's flush with the drywall. Same up here. And for the end, we just snap the plate. There you go. Always work safe, guys. And uh, if you have any questions, any suggestions, or would like to see any other type of work, please leave a comment in the comment section. Have a great day.